going on guys? So we are back with uh, some 180 content, some 1JZ content. Even though it doesn't have a 1J yet, but it will, it will soon. We're putting some, some new brakes and some new rear arms in this thing. These, uh, are they just painted or are they powder coated? No, they're yeah, properly powder coated and stuff. It's it's nice fresh bushes and stuff in there as well. Yeah, new bushes and so. Should be pretty nice. Better than this. Yeah, stuff anyway. So yeah, these are... Uh, these brakes are pretty much ready to ready to go on. You've spent fucking how many hours refurbishing them? I you don't want to know, probably at least 15, 20. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking refurbishing brake calipers. Not, not even joking, but completely strip them all down. But are we worth it in the end? I want it to be tidy, yeah. clean. It's my baby, so yeah. no point rushing it. Nah, definitely not. Had it 10 years next year, so. Had it a long time. Yeah. Yeah, so I I went to Chris's place yesterday and checked out his skyline and after seeing a skyline and seeing this thing, I think I think having you here in this workshop is definitely gonna push me to make my shit just, just that little bit better instead of just fucking slapping some things on it and calling it a day. Yeah, or well, hopefully. Good luck. Nice having a couple of cleanies chessies. Yeah, definitely. I mean fuck. There's been a lot of work gone into that thing and it's tidy, way tidy than it used to be, but I think, yeah, after seeing you, seeing your cars, I think, you know, to put in that little bit more effort in and, yeah. But either way, yeah, we're going to chuck these brakes in today and, uh, dev we'll discs and stuff as well. We've got new discs there, but they'll be just messing on the car, so they're a bit rusty, but I'll probably clean them up. DBA. Yeah, so these. Slotted and drilled. Nice big rotors. So yeah, these are the uh, the old knuckles, and you can see the difference straight away in them. The uh, new ones are so much nicer. The old ones been zinc coated, and fuck you, yeah, shit, you've gone to the trouble of zinc coating shit too. Yeah. Fuck, mate, this is this gonna turn into Tommy Effier's channel? Oh, fuck. <laughs> we need yeah, to start fucking zinc coating everything. Zinc, zinc coat master. I've got a big box out there actually full of. Actually, so this is gives you guys a better little look into this because we had a look the other day, but so much easier to see without the without the wheel on the. Is so, this subframe powder coated? Yeah, it's powder coated as well. Yeah. yeah, quote unquote, what they call the HK is purple, but it's not the same, obviously. But this thing is so clean. Like I, these wheel arches, like there's no. Fuck, you don't even have any tire rubber. No. Nah. This isn't even a real Nissan. <laughs> it's, it's had a good few hours off, and that extends the wire wheel and stuff, so. Hell. It was caked. I'm getting, I'm getting excited for this build. I can't wait to see this thing running. I just want to get a take for a smash, really. As soon as you get the motor and everything, it won't take long from then. Got most of the parts and everything, so yeah, just since that's in. Old mate's gonna do the tubs. Yeah. Oh yeah. The uh, as you guys would have seen probably in a video a while ago of uh, the 32 getting the downpipe. That's happening today. You can see it over there. Almost. So this is a bit of teamwork here, trying to get the hub off the off the old knuckle. Jay must have weighed three kgs. Good to pay me up, brother. No, we're not, this is not gonna work. Um, I do have a vice over there. If we can try and somehow rig that into yep. it. Let's go on the vice. Easy. You, you were saying last night the wire wheel is like your favourite tool in it. Yeah, wire wheel. What else is a good tool, man? Wire wheel in. I love me wire wheel. It's anything to do with cleaning. But here it is here. Ready to go. <laughs> Spent some hours on the wire wheel. Like I said, I think uh, I think your... What's the word I'm looking for? Hang a fucking wine blank. Either way, you like yeah. it. You're, you're, Almost Tommy Effier spec, and yeah, it's gonna rub off on me, and we're gonna have some uh, high quality builds. There's gonna be, there's gonna be our cars, and then there's gonna be fucking patchets. <laughs> so he's got a box full of zinc plated shit. It, it looks so good though. About to drop a whole lot more off. It's not expensive at all to do. So, like, how much is it to? That there was probably like 30, 40 bucks. It's not too bad. Yeah, and yeah. it makes things look so much tidier. Oh yeah. Did you see the front bonnet latch? Oh, right. That definitely looks sick. I can't wait to see this engine bay with tubbed and painted and Clean. just that 1J sitting in there. Before Chris goes and puts the hubs on the, on the uh, fresh knuckles, just pulling the studs all the way through, doing the, uh, the old trick of a few washers and an open end nut and yeah, just tightening it the fuck up and pulling it through.
The studs are all pulled through on the old hub here. Just getting the knuckle in now. I can look so much better than the old one, eh? Shit, yeah. So much better. It looks so nice when it's got all the new lower arm stuff, but... Yeah, because you're going to be running like a full TSD kit, right? Yeah. Lower arm, lower camber arm. arm. So, tow traction and camber, yeah. Just got to wait till mid-December till they've got some back in stock. Which yeah. is a bit of a pain, but... Oh, at least, at, at least the knuckle alone is going to make it look fucking way better. Yeah, I mean, drop all the handbrake stuff off on Monday to the zinc coders. Yeah. And then we'll be on. I mean, so you're switching from the usual internal, I um, mean, the usual uh, handbrake on the caliper to an internal drum setup, eh? Yeah, well, it was, I had five started a few years ago already, yeah. but I've just pulled it back apart, cleaned everything up, and new brake shoes, and yeah. So another thing that's taken a long time to clean up and yeah. stuff, but it'll be worth it then. Ratchet spanners, I definitely need to get myself a set. So yeah, good. Yeah, really good and long extended ones. Yeah. Oh, well, this is only a mock-up anyway. For now, we should have put a little bit of grease in that, but should be right. So uh, Chris has just ducked down to the shop for a bit while he's gone. I'm going to make a start on doing this side. So, yeah, just going to take the factory knuckle off, take the hub off that, and uh, yeah, slap it on there and put it back together. And meanwhile, your fucking dog is like digging a hole in the backyard. <laughs> hey, come here. He's right there, but I can't see him that well. Oh, no, here he is. Hello, Fig. It's the mask. Yeah, it's the mask. <laughs> what is that? We finished up on the one eighty hours ago. Uh this day has been a bit all over the place i've been partly filming three different videos and uh yeah to make this one have a little bit more content um we decided that you know we we're gonna come and drink some piss at chris's and as you can probably tell from half cut it's like past midnight but yeah, yeah we're gonna we're gonna check out chris's r32 and uh this one is a lot more complete than the 180 the 180 is fucking tidy and so is this so yeah this is this is Chris's R32 and this thing is fucking sick. I have a soft spot for 32s because my first ever RV was an R32. How long have you had this thing for? Probably a year and a half now. Year and a half. Swapped it for my Mark II track car. This thing has a bit of an interesting story. So like pretty much this time last year, like a week before fours. Yeah, literally a week before fours. Had a flower leaguer, which sounds really bad, but it actually could have been a lot worse. Destroyed GDR bonnet, destroyed gearbox, destroyed the back of the block. So I had to get a whole new motor, a whole new gearbox. Yeah, but that spiraled out of control and I rebuilt pretty much the whole car. So you had this engine made painted after the motor let go? Yeah, after the motor let go, just to tidy up and stuff. Because the yeah. motor was obviously out and got rid of the shitty black that it was. It was the sand black and it looked disgusting. This is, like, I mean, obviously it's probably going to come up on camera good, but this in person is so fucking sick. It looks a lot better now than everything's in there. It looks a bit. Yeah, so this is uh, obviously it's 25 dip. It's a Neo. No, it's not Neo. It's no? just Series. Yeah, Series 2. Series yeah. 2, 25, yeah. Pretty much standard motor. Obviously, all the for All the standard long Bolt ons, yeah. Holster turbo. Yeah, so this is a HX35. Well, HCR. HRC. HRC. Yeah, HRC, HRC, yeah. Just two or whatever, but yeah. No. So this is the Steve Merch record whole set. Well, yeah. tickled what, up whole yeah. set. Yeah, what, what everyone's got here. Yeah, but yeah, Tiny's manifold at the moment. You got a that Senko that that model. actually fucking love, like cracks me up. You have all of this, and you still have a Chinese manifold. But what you did say, you have a Senko for it though, right? Yeah, I've yeah. just got to get it back. But yeah, it's been modified, rapid, changed it also. Obviously, flows a bit, holds boost a bit better than what the other ones do because the gates are so long usually. And apart from that, 
Nothing else is really done for the motor. Oh, well, cool. I mean, it's got a good radiator. It's got a oh, yeah. big intercooler set up in your front face and a nice baller one. ass radium engineering fuel rail. Should be good. Some ID thousand injectors. Yeah. Um, Ooh, so nice. you don't have your gearbox in it at the moment, so maybe yeah. that's why the but but the motor way. looks a little bit like it's sitting a little weird. But what gearbox do you have for this? It's a Navara six-speed gearbox. Yeah, the one. What is it? D forty. D forty. Bit fun having a six-speed behind the twenty-five on a four-door. And this is powder coated. The strut brace. Yeah, I've got pretty everything's powder coated in this car again. Yeah, like the one eighty, all the subframes and. Yeah, it's got adjustable arms throughout, knuckles, lower arms. So yeah, like every yeah, everything in here is like pretty much adjustable. What do you do ECU wise? Oh, it's micro micro ten ECU as well. That's right. I'm not exactly that. sure on what one, so I can't remember. I'll have to have a look on it. It's nothing but like two flash, but it's got a good amount of lock. It is more lock than my Skyline, how I tricked it last night when I got Oh, home. this is definitely more lock than the yeah. Skyline. Like, not a hell of a lot more, but definitely more. I, I'm pretty sure, like, looking at mine last night compared to those knuckles that Pacey bought around mine, stock knuckles. Yeah. Oh, actually, that reminds me. So, we came out to this garage probably, like, what, last, two hours last, ago? Oh, uh, yeah. No, two hours ago. And we've been like shit yarning for a little bit, but Chris spent probably like no shit half 45, an hour, half an hour, 45 almost. minutes just wiping this down Ooh. and putting the skirts on and making it look a lot tidier. And even, he even fucking cleaned up his garage a little bit. Yeah, well, we've got it. Make it look <laughs> hey, look, we're polar opposites. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a fuck with it, but I've got to look like a half clean fuck with it. <laughs> Definitely portrays that. This thing is fucking tight like you were showing me earlier that like you look at the door jams here look at how clean these ones are because what you've gone like we said in probably earlier in the video your favorite tool is a wire wheel yeah well for wire wheels definitely love yeah. cleaning up every single little bolt everything i don't know what's wrong with me but i do it and then we look at these ones in here these ones you haven't done so this no, is no. sort of what it look, used to look like and not that it's that bad like this this car in general is fucking clean like you know, the door cards aren't perfect, but they're pretty good. The carpet in this thing is insane. Yeah, anyone got any mint four-door front door cards? Because I need some. <laughs> yeah, the uh, driver's door is a little messy. Oh, yeah. It's mainly the driver's one that's fucked, eh? But as bad as that is, it's actually really comfortable for your elbow. R32 GDR seats, the same as I have in my Sephiro. These things are great. But the cool thing is, not only does he have GDR front seats, he also has GDR rear seats. And you said you had to do something to get them to fit like a lot better. Yeah, there's a couple where they mount in the back stuff, you'd bend the wee couple of bits in it to fit back to you, like get it nice and flush back down there. Some of them sit up a bit and yeah, so they're all actually bolted in like solid as fuck. You can't get that out like without unbolting it. Yeah, Most of the ones I've seen are just they just chuck them in there. But you know what's really cool? The fucking temperature. Fuck, it's cold out here. <laughs> Drink more alcohol, cunt. Get the alcohol blanket going. I think I've gone too far. Oh. <laughs> like, I've crossed that limit from, like, remember last night we were out here and you cunts all in Jesus and I was singing it, like, fucking yeah. And now I'm just like, it's so cold. <laughs> Yeah, so we've been drinking for probably a couple of hours. By we, I mean me and Chris. Patchett has been drinking since like what? Lunch Two o'clock. <laughs> and it's like one o'clock in the morning now. <laughs> so we're filming this on Halloween night. It was like Saturday. Wait, is it Halloween night tonight? No, well, technically it's the first of November now. Yeah. Well, you oh, true. Actually, yeah. It's technically Sunday. So yeah, this thing has a fucking sick roof. Wing. Like, you So this was like... Brought yeah, for a so coupe well, and it was modified. Around. There's only a couple of people that make it. I think oh, there's only a guy I've found that makes the coupe ones to fit four doors. Yeah. And it's fucking mint. Like, it like, fits really fucking well. Like anything from like, I've never fit. Like even the one I've got for that is like. Duk, 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 oh yeah, so Chris has an S14 as well and that's a what? Factory SR20 200 SX. Yeah, yeah. Factory New Zealand new one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We'll get there one day after the 180. You've also got a roof wing for this, which is going to get modified just oh, the, like that one did. Oh, wing, not yeah. a roof wing, boot wing, sorry. Yeah, D-Max one, shorten it up so it's nice and flush and everything. We'll get there, we'll get there. 
and it's nearly done. Just want to get going and warranted for the summer. So as in terms of rear end, like this thing is obviously going to make quite a bit of power, but you've got a way fucking beefier rear end for this too. Yeah. Well, it's got... well that's not for this. It's already in this. Yeah. It's, well, it's got stage every subframe with the 300 ZX dip, so the... R330. Yeah, the R330. So the subframe had to get modified for that to go into. And then I've got 300 ZX axles. I mean, 350Z axles, sorry. Yeah. So they're quite a lot beefier and stuff. So that should handle a lot more with all TSD, lower arms. Don't look at me. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to spit out some I'm brands. Just, I'm just here for the shit yarns um, and piss. <laughs> well, definitely shit yarns right now. I can't even remember what's in my own fucking car. Detroit. I mean, you're ha you're half cut, so you're forgivable. Plus, yeah. you have three cars, yeah. and you probably haven't what touched this in a while. No. Well, really. the suspension well, at least. Um, we're looking for their adjusters. We just pop the boot. Look at the fucking top hat. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 don't worry about them. They're just details. They're all good. They'll re rebuild them and stuff. They'll they'll do for now. How much power do you think you're gonna be able to get out of this setup when it's oh, all tuned? It's, and... it's already tuned and stuff. For... It was like 435 or something, so it's not a huge power, but it's enough. I love that. Enough. 430 isn't huge power, like if well, this some random. Age is not. Yeah, but, but if some random can't got yeah. into this car and put their foot down, they'd fucking shit the oh, jobs. Yeah. Well, when it comes to selling it, if some 18 year old turns up with their dad to buy it, I'm going to tell them where the door is because they're either going to write it off or they're going to kill themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've seen videos of this thing before what happened happened, and this thing went fucking hard. Yeah, they might fluke it like me and just have a powerful car with absolutely no talent and not kill yeah. themselves. Well, I'm not saying I've got no talent, but when I was when I was 18, if I had something like this, it's like, I'd be dead. It's more about how aggressive the boost curve comes on. Yeah, well, with the old setup, it's laggy as fuck, and then as soon as the camera boosts, it's just... Yeah, when it's on, it's all yeah. on. <laughs> so yeah, it was nothing, 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 and then all of a sudden, everything. Yeah, yeah and the old setup. But this should be a lot better. Like I've seen the dyno. Well, I've got well the dyno H, too. yeah, thirty fives on a twenty five is like a good combo. To be yeah. fair, it looks like it's only a twelve centimeter rear as well. I think it is. Yeah, it's a twelve or a ten by the looks of it. I don't think it'll be ten because they start choking up when you go tens on. Well, it's probably a twelve then. Yeah. But, yeah. but the plan is to get going, get it off ridge, drive it for summer. Then after pull the motor out. And then put my sump on it that I've got, my head drain, head studs and head gasket, some cams, and then obviously the Cinco, and then go back for another retune and try like 550 ish, you reckon? Easy? Depends what post. Are you gonna, you gonna run well, it? If it's got head studs and everything. I was thinking, thinking about. Probably was, mid 20. Oh, yeah. no, you'd probably see 550 at low 20s. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I'll probably still keep it on. Um, well, it's tuned on Hyundai in for the Hyundai. Hey, if you if you on the RB twenty twenty five twenty six thirty tech talk page, there's heaps of people that claim they're making six hundred horsepower out of RB twenties at eighteen pound. <laughs> yeah, I mean they don't have the donor sheets to prove Sick. it, but that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you just have to believe them. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that'll pretty much wrap it for this one. Um, yeah, I mean, you're definitely going to see this car a few times in the in the future. I I assume we're probably not just going to film content with the 180. I'm keen as fuck to film content with this thing. Like, like I said, 32s have a soft spot for me, and this thing is definitely immaculate. Probably going to do some dumb shit in the 350 as well. Yep, definitely. Oh yeah, there's another Skyline too, a newer 350 GT, which a lot of you are going to hate on, but. I've been on it, I've been in for a ride earlier today, and it was pretty fucking good. It's a manual really one. Really it's, keen on dumb well, shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, I mean, of course we're keen on dumb so shit. So keen on dumb shit. Yeah. I've been convinced by the Americans and the Aussies to get one, so... And They're then, actually not too bad. I just don't like the sound of EQ and no, they just go really good. Like, they've got a good amount of torque. The curve is nice. They handle really nicely. They, they have good gearboxes and clutches. Uh, clutches and stuff in them. Yeah. They have a great rear end in them. Except I'm going to buy disc brakes for it because I don't like how they only held them with one bolt. Yeah. But we'll get there. And you need a new engine mount. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Engine mount. That's and it. you're going to take that to Kaikoura the next time we go with yeah. our missile cars. 100%. Sick. Yeah, Alright. See how tomorrow goes. <laughs> So, so yeah, that'll be it for this one. You guys are going to see this again in the future. But uh, yeah, like I said, that's it. Catch you in the next one.